Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and I've got a new open box video for you. And I've got some uh, a little more exotic items for you today. Um, something a little bit unusual. You'll see this uh, Patria y Libertad 1897, and then of course it says souvenir uh, instead of uh, dollar or anything like that from the Republic de Cuba. So and it's also marked uh, 900 right there, um, and then fino or fine. So it's 90% pure silver. Uh, neat piece. It is in the odd and curious world book as a coin. Uh, and you'll see that this is uh, listed even as a souvenir peso by NGC. And they've got several different types on these guys. Um, the stars end up being in different locations on them on different different issues. Uh, there's these stars near the date, and so they'll be at different locations on that. And the reverse of the coin is pretty cool. It's got a lot of detail to it in the um, the Cuban crest with the uh, the key and the sunset over the bay and the palm tree with the coconuts and everything. Anyway, this is kind of a fun piece. These uh, trade probably in the four to $500 range, uh, not 4,500, but 400 to $500 range on those guys. And here we have um, something similar, only dated 1965. The style is patterned exactly the same. You can tell it's got a little bit more of a modern look to it though. Uh, and instead of being 900 fine, it's 925 or sterling silver. And it has kind of a proof-like feel to it. A little bit sharper image in the more modern looking piece. Real sharp lines all the way around there. And then 1965. I'm just zooming in for effect there. Souvenir. Okay, we're going to zoom back out. So NGC created this a proof 67 plain edge silver uh, silver exile issue. Um, this was issued by some group called the Cuban uh, Numismatists in Exile. Uh, you know, <laughs> once again, reminds me way too much of something Monty Python would come up with. So... Uh, this is probably worth a couple hundred on that one. Uh, the earlier piece, by the way, this uh, 1897 issue is actually uh, made by Gorham, who is well known for making silverware and, and things of that nature. All right, the Republica Boliviana. So this is from Bolivia. And this coin here is Un Boliviano, uh, 1884. Um, it, it is from the Potosi Mint, and the Potosi Mint mark is uh, this mark right there, and it looks like a P and a T and an S all smushed together for Potosi. So it's almost like all the letters in, in one word. So this issue, we got certified because it is actually a proof-only issue, and you'll see it circulated, but it got graded a proof 53 because it is a proof coin, but is a circulated coin. So they only made these in a proof issue. Very scarce piece. I'm not sure the value on this piece. Um, I think it may trade for about $1,000, but I'm not really sure. Most likely we'll end up putting it in some type of an auction to figure out. Hey, there's George V. Everybody knows who that guy is, right? Oops. And we have a New Zealand one shilling, 1935. This is kind of a neat piece uh, because you can kind of tell by the fields, the way it's made, that it's actually a proof coin. And they only made a few hundred of these. This one's a proof 64. And uh, I think the mintage is somewhere around 600 on this one. Uh, and there's probably not that many of them that survived. But very scarce coin. I did that twice now. And it is also a uh, really cool design. I always like these New Zealand pieces. Uh, very, very cool design. 
so something that I didn't say at the beginning of the video was that each of these coins, when I sent them into NGC, I also had NCS conserve them. And it's really interesting to me to look at the coins now, and they're all a little bit different than they were before. I don't think I have a before and after for you this time. Um, but they all look a little bit the same. Like this was hazy. It's still hazy. Um, this one almost had like a green kind of, uh, I don't know, what do, you, what do you want to say, mildew effect to it. It's still kind of hazy, a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm intrigued about what they may or may not have done and what I, what I actually paid for. Um, this one did have some uh, PVC on it, some pretty thick PVC, and I can tell they got that off, so that was good. Um, so anyway, overall, kind of a fun group of foreign coins, world coins, whatever you want to say, and uh, some things we don't see every day. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can follow me by clicking on the button up here in the corner, and you can watch some more videos on this side of the screen. Thanks for watching.